Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how to create a SharePoint list based on an existing Excel file. But before to go forward, please subscribe to my channel to get notified every time that I post new videos. Creating a SharePoint list it's useful for several reasons. One of them is that you can have a versioning in place or maybe you need to, to have a workflow behind. Imagine that you need to trigger a process, a power automate process, anytime that you create a new list item. Or basically you can have also a SharePoint list as a data source where you can read data from your SharePoint framework solution. There are many reasons. Let's explore together how you can do that. Okay, let's go. Here I am on my PC. As you can see, I have an existing Excel file opened here and I have three tables, inventory list, to-do list, assignments. I want to create a SharePoint list based on this table. We have several columns, inventory ID, name, description, unit price, quantity in stock, and so on. Switching on SharePoint now, we have here in the home page the classic new button, and this allows you to create list document library, page, new post, app, and so on. If I click on list, as you can see, we have the ability to create a simple SharePoint list. In order to create a SharePoint list from an existing Excel file, you have to click on the wheel, then Site Contents. And here on this new button, you will get access to a different pane. So you have three options here, new from an existing list and from an Excel file. I want to create an inventory SharePoint list. I don't want to make it available in the site navigation. Now you have the ability to pick up an um, Excel file uploaded already in, the, in a document library. But in my case, I want to upload this file from my device. Then I will click on Open. This will upload the document. And finally, the elaboration will start. You will have the ability here to select which table you want to import. I say that I want to import the first table. Then another important thing to remember is that you have to define the, the main column of the SharePoint list, which is the title. By default, SharePoint has assigned as title my for reorder column. You have the ability to change that behavior so for example i want to nominate title my name column and then here you can also change the type of column from single line of text to multiple lines of text choice do not import so everything looks good for me we have all columns here defined then i can start the creation so then we will have in seconds a new SharePoint list up and running based on an existing file. This is very cool and powerful. Here we go. All data are in and everything is done. All right, that was a quick tutorial how to reuse an Excel table in order to create a SharePoint list. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified anytime that I post new videos. Put a comment down below if you want to provide suggestions or feedback for next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!